In this lesson, we are going to focus on solving exponentials, except all three of these are meant to be solved without a calculator. All right, so um, how is that possible? Well, um, the way that this thing works out is that if you can make the base exactly the same, then you're just going to focus on the exponents. So here's what I mean by that. 64 is just a bunch of 2s. So 64 is 2 to the 6th. Well, this is 2 to the 5x. So once you get the bases to match, you don't care about the bases at all anymore. Because now the only way that these two sides are going to equal each other is that this exponent matches this exponent, which really means you're just solving now that that exponent needs to equal that exponent. So the bases become irrelevant once you make them match. And then we just do some math to get the x by itself. And x would equal 6 fifths. All right, so then you can plug that back in and see that it would get you 64. So that's going to be basically kind of the idea, um, except for this one, um, that uh, if you can get the bases to match, then you don't need a calculator to solve it. So um, 32 is also a bunch of 2s, so that is 2 to the 5th. All right, and then if the bases match, you can drop the bases and you're just focusing on... 3x minus 7 equaling 5, and then we add 7. 3x equals 12, divide by 3, and x is going to equal 4. All right, and now in this one's a little bit different, that this is kind of a weird, ugly-looking piece, but the fact that the log base matches the exponential base um, basically, this whole thing just simplifies to 8. And then it just becomes a very nice, straightforward problem. So we'll add 13, both sides. So that gets us 21, equal to 3x, divide by 3, and x is going to equal 7. All right, now this one's definitely harder looking, um, but... All three of these all have a 3 in common. 27 is a bunch of 3s, 9 is a bunch of 3s, so we're just going to rewrite everything as a bunch of 3s. So 27 is 3 to the 3rd. Um, we're not going to do anything to this one. And then 9 is 3 squared, but we already had a power here to it. So we have a little bit of cleanup to do, and then essentially we're going to have a similar look that we have on this one. So, um, this is a power raised to a power, so we are going to multiply those together. And here's kind of the way I go about this is, if you're forgetting what's going on with your exponents, here are your two kind of situations. That here you're going to be adding exponents, so that's 2 plus 3 is going to get you a 5, where a power and a power, power raised to a power, you're going to be multiplying. So we're actually going to have both scenarios going on here. We have this one where we're going to multiply these two powers together. So then that's times 3 to the 2x squared. All right, and then, um, <coughs> then we have uh, the bases matching, which is really this situation right here. So how do we combine it together? We add our exponents together. Now remember, it's all about how many 3s you have. It's not about how many 9s you have. So that still stays. And then I'm going to put this in order of a 2x squared plus a 5x. Wouldn't have been any different if we had a 5x plus a 2x squared. I just see a quadratic kind of in our future, so I'm just going to set it up that way. All right, so now we add our exponents together. Bases match. Now we have just a more complicated version of this. So we're going to have... Um, 3 is going to equal 2x squared plus 5x. We'll subtract the 3 over. So we're looking at 0 equaling 2x squared plus 5x minus 3. So we have a quadratic. Um, and then we're going to try and solve this quadratic. So. Um, Uh, we need something to multiply to 2x and x, 
and then we need to multiply to 3, but somehow combine to 5. Um, so I'm going to put the 3 kind of across from the 2 to get me a 6x. Uh, and I know my signs are going to be different. So I need a positive 6x, and then a negative 1x here. And then, so I got 2x squared, I got a 6x minus x makes positive 5x, and then a negative 1 and a 3 make negative 3. So, once I take, I have my factors, I can set each of my factors equal to 0, and I'll get two solutions. Oops. So, plus 3 equaling 0. So here we'll add 1, divide by 2, x equals 1 half. And then here we're going to subtract the 3 over, and x equals negative 3. All right. And so that was solving uh, exponentials without having to use a calculator.